The greatest American alive. Dear America, we have to have better conversations, especially when it pertains to mental health. Mental health seems to be like the biggest buzzword in our society right now. And I be getting confused. Project Daddy be getting confused. Like, I be getting lost. Why in the world do we only have conversations about mental health when it comes to millionaires? Kanye West said, we're all liars. We won't tell the truth to get some power. No, we will not. When we're facing great mental anguish, what do we do? What do you do when you're facing great mental anguish? If you don't have some type of contract that says your money is guaranteed and you work at Jack in the Box, hey, I'm having a mental crisis today. <laughs> They're going to look at you and say, uh, if you don't get on the grill right now and flip those burgers, you ain't thinking no day off for no mental health in America. Why won't we have a conversation about mental health and how mental health is a plague in America? This is the most biggest conversation. This is the most biggest conversation conversation to have in America right now is how mental health is the greatest plague in America. If you do suffer from depression, how will you know? Because you can't get diagnosed. The only way you get diagnosed is if you go see a psychiatrist, psychologist, some person like that. Dear America, we have to have better conversations, especially when it pertains to mental illness. Mental illness is the biggest plague amongst working class and poor people in America, but we won't have that conversation. The only way we'll talk about mental illness is if we're discussing a millionaire, is if we're discussing Simone Biles, or as if we're discussing uh, Naomi Osaka, as if we're discussing Kanye West. Kanye West said, we're all liars. That's what Kanye West said. We're all liars because we won't tell the truth to get some power. We won't tell nobody about the things that are hurting us in our lives. These are secrets, yes. I remember the first time I experienced like true mental anguish. Uh, me and my significant other at the time, we had just had a miscarriage. And Project Daddy, his whole life, he just wanted to be a daddy. Project Daddy always aspired to be a daddy. And so when I got the news, I was having a baby. They said, Project Daddy, you about to be a daddy. I got so excited. And then on that day when my significant other had a miscarriage and I saw a fever and I had to go to work the next day. I was traumatized. I had no idea what to do. I'm like, geez, Louise, man, my whole life I wanted to be a dad. I just saw my dead baby and I got to go to work the next day. But there is no sympathy for the working class person. Back to work, baby. And now maybe if you work at a good company and you lose somebody that you love, a direct family member, your father, your mother, your sister, or your brother, or maybe your child, you'll get bereavement. I think bereavement is three days. Who can grieve in America in three days? Can you, the greatest American alive, grieve in three days? We have to have better conversations in America. Tell the truth to get some power. Tell the truth to get some power. Mental illness is the greatest plague in America right now amongst working class and poor people, but you can't get diagnosed. Why can't you get diagnosed? Diagnosed? Why can't you get diagnosed? Because you ain't got no insurance. I fly. Why can't you, the greatest American alive, get diagnosed? Because you don't have no days off. You ain't got no paid time off. You ain't got no sick leave. Man, I'll be trying to figure out how the heck are you supposed to go to work every day, 365 days a year? Maybe in a week you might get a day off. Maybe in a year you might get 10, 20 days off. How is a human person supposed to work every day with no time off? Man, somebody tell me, how is this possible? If you're working a shift at your local Denny's making $2.13 an hour, what happens if you're having a mental crisis what happens if you're in a crisis we need to find out what's in crisis right being in crisis when it comes to mental illness means you're in imminent danger of yourself you're going to harm yourself you're not going to get immediate attention in america unless you are in crisis yes so if you go to your supervisor and you say hey i'm not feeling good i'm having an anxiety attack they're going to say, uh, clock in, put your apron on and get to work. Maybe, maybe, maybe you might have a supervisor that empathizes with your position. They might know a little bit about mental health, but there is no legislation for mental health when it comes to working class people. Why is that? How come we can have a conversation about mental illness when it comes to rich folks, but we won't have a conversation about mental illness when it comes to you, the greatest American alive? The greatest American alive. Tell your story and get some power. America is all about narrative. And if you ain't telling your story about why you're not performing at an optimum level, then they're going to look at you like there is no issue. Tell the truth and get some power. Project Daddy, why in the world would you wear a hat that says depressed monsters? At the time, I was extremely depressed. And I didn't know I was depressed. I didn't know I was depressed until I got caught up in the criminal justice system. Guess who's going to jail tonight? That's what Kanye West said. Guess who's going to jail tonight? Project Daddy's going to jail tonight do you understand and now when you start going through the criminal justice system now all of a sudden i'm going to the va 
thank the American government for allowing me to have the VA to go and discuss my mental illness. And so when I get there and I'm talking to a psychologist, next thing you know, Project Daddy has a psychologist, a psychiatrist, and a therapist to help me get through my mental crisis. But if you are not a veteran of the United States military, how can you go? Where, where can you go? I think there are some public options, but the public option when it comes to mental health, I'm going to tell you how it's going to go. It's going to be hurry up and wait, or it's going to be here, take these medications, take these pills and in like uh six to eight weeks you should be feeling better <laughs> now go back to work <laughs> I could never understand how working class people don't have no representation when it comes to legislation for working class folks. How come you don't have mental health days off legislated? Why doesn't the American worker have legislated days off, especially when it comes to mental health or being sick? And so when I get confused when I watch the news and I see these millionaires are being exalted, oh my gosh, you're a hero for telling everyone that you have mental illness. And when it comes to working class folks, if you tell your friends males specifically if you tell your friends that i'm going through it they're gonna look at you with the stink eye and such stigma as to wonder why in the world are you telling them about your personal problems i had a friend and my friend actually said this to me when i was telling him about the things that i was going through my please ear must if you don't like profanity my friend said man fuck your feelings <laughs> That hit Project Daddy right here in the heart muscle. I said, man, fuck my feelings. And that's the approach that the American government takes to the greatest American alive. That's how they respond to you being in crisis, especially when it comes to mental anguish. And so what do we do going forward? First, we have to understand what it is. We have to overcome this stigma. Tell the truth and get some power. Yes, life happens to us all. And when we're going through really tough things, a divorce, loss of a family member, the effects of mental illness can be debilitating you're sitting there you're literally fighting for your life when it comes to this here how are you fighting for your life when you're going through crisis and you're living in poverty bills still have to get paid children still have to get fed you still have to perform at an optimum level even though mentally you're not functioning at an optimum level it seems as if the american culture is still trying to grasp what mental illness is and the only reason why we're still trying to grasp the concept of mental illness is because you the greatest american alive will not tell the truth you won't say, look here, I go to work every day. I make $7.75 an hour and my car broke down and my child has a field trip and I don't even have enough money for lunch money and I'm just trying to figure it out. If that doesn't break you down as the greatest American life, if that doesn't break you down as a human person and if no one can empathize with that, it's hard to empathize with it when you're going through the exact same thing. You just look at the other person like, man, if you don't, your life is going to stop. You're not going to have any food or a place to live, right? Right now, homelessness in America is the nastiest plague that's happening to us. And why is it happening? They talk about it so shrewdly when it comes to the news. They say something like, oh, uh, most of the homeless people in America are suffering from mental illness. Wouldn't you be suffering from mental illness if you just lost your home? Wouldn't you be suffering from mental illness if you were living in your car? Wouldn't you be suffering from mental illness if you look at the trajectory of your life and you know that you're going to live in perpetual poverty forever? forever wouldn't that be considered mental illness I mean, that makes me anxious just talking about it project daddy why would you wear a hat that says depressed monster well at the time i really thought that uh, i was supporting a great cause i thought buying this hat was going to contribute to the awareness of mental illness depressed monsters I man i can't wear this crown project daddy cannot wear this crown i can't do it depressed monsters that's scary as hell could you imagine a big old 220 pound depressed monster walking around trying to figure out how to put his life back together hey that's me project daddy and so that's the truth right and so for for whomever you are walking around with this nasty depression anxiety weighing you down trying to figure out how am i going to survive in america who will survive in america and as you try to figure out how to navigate this nasty capitalist system that's eating you alive devouring everything about you devouring everything about you turning you the greatest american alive into a commodity the greatest american alive we have to have a discussion about this nasty plague called mental illness. If we can spend $7 trillion on something we can't see, then we can spend another $7 trillion on something that we can't see. And nobody can see your feelings. No one can see your thoughts and your emotions, but I can see your actual lived experience. I can see you clocking in and going to work every day trying to figure out how I'm going to survive in a place that only pays you seven seventy-five. dollars Hello. <laughs> Can you imagine going to work and telling your boss, hey, I got the twisties? <laughs>
could, can you imagine getting a bonus or getting your paycheck? And then as soon as you get your paycheck, you tell your bosses, I ain't coming in for a week or two because I have a mental health week. <laughs> could you imagine having a mental health week in America at whatever job you're going to? You just go to your boss and say, hey, man, like my life is not going so good. I need a mental health week. <laughs> no, not no mental health day. I need a mental health week. Can you imagine having that conversation? Man, Project Daddy has been through the system. And so I understand how hard it can be. Man, let Project Daddy take this hat off. I cannot wear that crown. I cannot wear that crown to press monsters. Man, I woke up this morning with peace in my heart. I woke up this morning with peace in my heart, with love in my heart. Depressed monster. God loves me. You hear me? God shined on me. Hey, the almighty creator looked down at Project Daddy and said, I love you, Project Daddy. The almighty creator looks at you, the greatest American life, and says, I love you, the greatest American life. The only way that you can get a blessing is if you open your mouth, tell the truth, and get some power. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Dear American citizen, are you hurting? Is there anything that's bothering you? Please tell Project Daddy. Leave a comment down there. We're going to have a discussion about what's affecting you, the greatest American life. Because we have to tell the truth to get some power. We have to have honest conversations to move our culture forward. Dear America, this is a mental health check. Are you okay? Because I know that the daily grind of the American life can wear you down. It can pull you down to the ground. It can break. It can break you mentally. It can break you physically. This is the truth about working class people, poor people. But you can't tell that story because for some reason, we'll glamorize a millionaire having a mental breakdown. But we'll look at you, the greatest American life. And if you have a breakdown, there is no sympathy. There is no pity. It's just work, citizen work. <laughs> and I know I try to make light of it. What's good for the millionaire is good for you. Their life isn't more valuable than yours. If I had not gone through the system and seen that there is a response when you're having a hard time in life, if I did not know that there was treatments for depression and anxiety, Project Daddy would still be lost. And Project Daddy doesn't want you, the greatest American life, to be out there lost. I don't know where you live at, but I know they have social services, people to work with. Anything is better than nothing. And if you do find out that you are suffering from mental illness, the only thing that you can do is one step at a time, one day at a time, and believe in the process. It can be an extremely frustrating journey trying to navigate mental health services in the community. It can be tough, and it can make you want to quit. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and don't give up. There is light on the other side. The sun will shine again. I promise I was there. I can tell you horror stories on my battles. Project Daddy can tell you about the mental health crises in his life. The conversation for mental illness can be extremely difficult because once you figure out that you're suffering, what's next? What am I going to do next? When you're diagnosed with anxiety, if you're diagnosed with depression or bipolar or whatever the mental illness is, once you get your diagnosis, what's the next step? If the root cause of your diagnosis is lack of money, if the root root cause of your depression and anxiety is your workplace and your lack of income what's the solution when you're talking to your therapist ask the, your therapist what's the solution for me not having enough money to take care of myself what's the solution for me being frustrated that i can't pay my rent what's the solution from the anxiety of knowing that my children might go hungry because i can't feed them what are the solutions to these problems because when it comes to mental illness there has to be a source there is a root issue and now when the root issue in america is poverty then how do you answer poverty with a mental health system? These are just questions that we should ask as we go forward. As we have the conversation about mental health in America, then we have to acknowledge there are at least 50 million Americans living in poverty. That's the most important conversation that we can have. And if we make a direct connection between living in poverty and mental health, then maybe we can have some solutions, but we don't want no solutions. The system makes too much money on you living in poverty. If you are broken down, if you are depressed, then the system can control you back to work back to work go to prison back to work go to prison back to work when any clinical psychologist knows that the american citizen is being broken down by their daily lives of trying to pay their bills and the grind there is a disconnect in america for project daddy missing his children and being depressed for missing his children and also being homeless simultaneously their solution was all different types of pills take this pill take that pill take this pill project daddy was having crazy emotional mood swings being pulled this way and being being pulled that way and I had no idea how to respond with these chemical imbalances they said just wait eight weeks and I'm like man I'm not okay right now I'm in crisis right now from the medication that you gave me if we cannot have an honest conversation on how to deal with poverty then it's going to be extremely difficult to have an honest conversation on how to deal with mental health and mental anguish mental illness is destroying America because 
poverty is destroying America. But it's really hard to have that conversation if number one, the American citizen does not acknowledge that they're living in poverty. And number two, if the American citizen does not acknowledge that they have a mental illness, that makes it a really hard process to try to provide help for people who won't even acknowledge the fact that they need help. That's complicated. Mental illness is the greatest plague for working class people in America, but we can't have that conversation because of stigma and we won't acknowledge the thing that's happening to us. We can't say that we're poor and we can't say that we have mental illness and so we just live in despair and we watch all this chaos transpire in our wonderful, wonderful nation and I watch your life be all torn apart. I watch the life of the greatest American alive be torn apart from poverty and mental illness and Project Day can't do nothing about it because you won't tell your story. So please, in the comments, tell the truth and get some power. Tell the truth and get some power. Tell your story in those comments. Let Project Daddy come out here and fight on your behalf because you deserve to have someone to tell your story. Your narrative matters. You are not a victim. You are a victor. But in order to be victorious, you have to tell the truth. You have to talk about your journey. Every athlete trains and going through that training, the growing pains, they hurt. But at the end of the day, they are a better athlete. Every Every citizen has to go through the daily grind of life but at the end of the day if you get the help that you need then oh my gosh you'd be a much better citizen whatever it is you're battling talk to someone and if one of your loved ones is battling something please listen poverty is the greatest plague in America and right next to it is mental illness please tell the truth to get some power please fight back you are the greatest American alive the greatest American alive the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.